Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Good evening, YouTube. Kenny Tony's coming at you today. We got another video for you. So right now, what we have sitting behind us is my son's Raptor 250 2008 that we have modified and done a whole lot of things to it. But we have a little problem. But we're going to work on that problem today, and we're going to see if we can get a solution to it, if it fixes it. And hopefully, this video is going to be able to help somebody else in the future be able to take care of this issue if it's something they run into. All right, everyone, thank you for checking out this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It is kind of bright out here and sunny today, but I got the shades on because I got a little bit of pink eye going on. And even though I don't feel the best, I still don't like to be sitting in a house on a couch potato. It'd be crazy about what an eye can do to you, right? So you get some issue with your eye and you've been squinting all day and all of a sudden you got headaches and that headaches can bring you into some freaking nausea. But long story short, I feel like I want to get outside and get some fresh air. I got the shades on because I don't want this pink eye to ruin the video for anyone else. And uh, we're going to be working on the Raptor 250. So basically what we're going to be doing is trying to put some oil seals in it today. And it's going to be kind of an intense or an intensive process. I mean, it's not like one or two things that you have to do to get this done. So basically what I'm going to do is talk you all through it and let you all know what tools I'm going to be using to be able to get this done. So hopefully whoever at home can get this done with the same amount of tools and save yourself some money and be able to fix things on your own, which I like doing. So let's go ahead and get the Raptor 250, a quick walk around of it, talk about it, and then we will get it into the building and start getting it taken apart. All right, here's my son's Raptor 250 2008. So as you see, the plastics are black. We did paint those the same way a car bumper will be paint, painted. So it's not necessarily like rattle can. So you spray it with adhesion promoter, primer, base coat, 2K clear coat. So it is coated up really well. So it holds up pretty strong for us. We have CR high bend bars on it. We have aftermarket adjustable clutch levers and brake levers these are cheap ones but they work well for us we don't ride or anything uh, we ride we don't race or anything odi grips on it we have it widening i think a total of six inches in the front so plus three plus one front a arms those fit amazing we got those from american star we got the team album front bumper team album nerf bars on it uh we have the Alba rear wheel spacers on it. It is spaced out red chain. We have the 19s and the 20s from the other Raptor 250 project that we did. This was the first quad that I had done. So there is some things that I would have done differently. For example, I would have powder coated more of this and painted less. But it is what it is. Full Barker exhaust system put on it. We have the LS4 seat cover put on it. I can't remember if it's an FXR rear bumper, what brand that is. I can't remember off the top of my head. Larger jets. We have a Vito's cam in it. We have the Wiseco higher compression piston in it. So, I mean, it does move. Uh, Procop ECU. But yeah, so. Today what we're going to be doing is getting that front plastic here off, see what we can do to get the front plastic off and everything, get the gas tank off, get things off, and we're going to start getting in there and getting that motor opened up for us. All right, yeah, before, so before we get this taken apart, let me explain to you why I think it needs valve seals and not rings. So on this machine, what we'll do is we'll start it up and it will start up, no problems. It will smoke for about the first minute. So after you riding around and you have it out there, you don't really have any smoking issues. You can start it back up, really no smoking issues. But when the first minute or so goes on, it will smoke. So that brings me to the conclusion that this is more of a valve seal issue and less of a ring issue. I feel that rings will have you smoking 24 seven where the valve seals will be within the first minute. So let's get it started up so you all can see what I'm talking about.
basically you saw it. The more it runs, the less that happens. So as it runs and it continues on, the smoking will get less and less until it's pretty much non-existent. But we do have an issue there, so we're gonna get this issue taken apart, get this motor taken apart, and hopefully fix this issue today. All right, so here we are sitting outside in the daylight. I've had multiple videos on taking different plastics off of Raptor 250s and 125s and putting them back on. So we're gonna skip over all that. If you wanna see it, I will put the link to one of the videos in the bottom here in the description section. And that's it, we're just gonna go ahead and get this taken apart. All right, so this is just a little bit more of the disassembly process. We're gonna take off some of these hoses here, kind of get them out of the way. Hopefully I don't have to take the carburetor and things out once I get this off. Gonna loosen this spring up. We'll get these two bolts right here off. Contain tensioner. We're going to go ahead and get that off as well back here in the corner. Then we're going to get these two bolts out too.
All right, so now we have the head out here on the table. So we're going to go ahead and take out these bolts here that hold the cam cover in. these off Vito's cam out. So I want to see if these will come out. So these sliders basically hold these rockers in. So we have the head right here with that in there and it doesn't boot much. So what we're going to do is throw this into my powder coating oven and see if we can get it hot and see if we can help it move along then. So what I've done is just laid this on here like this. that down it took a little bit more work than I was hoping it was going to but we got that slid over far enough now we're just going to use my bolt that I've cut and my vise and get that out of there so I got a bit clamp it's still warm So they're both loose and sitting in here. Just gonna try to mobilize, get them forward, and maybe this magnet. There we go. One. Second one. So what we're going to do is just, this is here, so there should be two springs, and then here is the oil seal once we get this valve pushed down.
oil seal number one's out of there. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad, but we're going to replace it. Should just press down on there. There we go. valve back in so we had compression we didn't have any issues so I'm not really worried about messing with anything underneath here first spring back on second spring and things back on So this side is officially back in with a new oil seal. So I'm go ahead and take that out. Turn it up on its side. And then just give it a couple taps to see if it's going to go back down easily. that one seat in there we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side and get this done all right everyone so we're gonna conclude this video real quick got my son out here as the big helper and what he's gonna do is start this machine up for us and we're gonna see if it's gonna work so I did get everything installed and I did do an initial start the other night but that was just to make sure I got everything back together and you know back good so we have the timing chain on there we have the cam chain tension there. we have the timing set on the whole purpose of my start was just to make sure it was all running but he's going to start it we're going to let it idle for a second to see if it's going to give that stream of blue smoke like it did before and let's just hope not we'll figure it don't do anything just sit there Give us a prayer, Ray. Turn toward us. Turn toward us. Give us one of these. Oh. So it's worked for us. Let's get it start up again. What? Give it a little gas. Rev it up a little bit. Give it some gas. Rev it up a little bit. Perfect. So that worked amazing for us. It did exactly what it's supposed to do. So we have the Raptor 250. It's officially complete. The valve seals were a success. It did fix the issue that we had. So we're going to just be officially done with this. We're going to, over the winter time, I think I'm going to get it 
powder coated maybe we're gonna redo the rims put the beadlock look onto them and we're gonna get 18 inch tires on them it's not anything huge of a hurry now but this is complete we're gonna make sure when we do the Raptor 250 build going forward that we just go ahead and replace these as well so that my buddy who's going to be getting that Raptor 250 doesn't have to worry about the oil seal so we're going to have oil seals rings so no reason that it should smoke we're going to have the piston the new seal on there and a few more things so if you're interested in that make sure you follow that one it's called another Raptor 250 that's going to be the playlist and we're going to get it rolling make sure to hit that like button and subscribe this is the end.